Hi everyone, I'm Jessica and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be making our lunch, my lunch for today's picnic. So, I'm just going to start by making a chicken salad sandwich. So I'm just going to cut up the chicken. I usually like to shred it, but I don't really have time for that right now and I don't really want to. So I just like to cut it really small. Okay, so now that this is basically pretty small, I'm just going to transfer it into a, my bowl. And then I'm going to add mayo, ranch, and some pepper. I usually like to add some celery or um, lettuce as well, but we don't have that right now. So, I'm not going to add it. So for the pepper, I'm just going to use a mini sweet bell pepper because I can't find the big peppers that we have. So I'm just going to cut this pretty small. You can use basically anything you like. You can also add cranberries and raisins, pumpkin seeds, other seeds, nuts. But I can't add nuts, so I'm not adding that. And then, you can basically add any other veggies also. But, I'm not a big fan of adding those things, so. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper. And um, for the sauce, you can add basically any sauce you want. You can also add other spices you want. But, I'm pretty simple. So, that's probably enough. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of mayo and some ranch. So that's good. I usually do around like half a tablespoon of mayo and then around a tablespoon of ranch but I don't measure and you can just like do it to your likings the different amount of sauce salt pepper whatever other spices okay so that's roughly good and then I'm gonna use this lunch box so I'm just going to cut the bread so it will fit better. And yes, I'm using the same knife. It's just easier. You can totally leave the crusts on if you would prefer, but I'm not a big fan of crusts on my sandwiches, so I prefer to cut them off. And no, this is not a perfect shape at all just it works okay and none of these crusts get wasted i always keep all the crusts and then we like to make um french toast like casserole brick you can call it i guess out of them and it's really good you can also make meatballs and stuff like that out of crusts but like I've never made them but a lot of people say it's really good so you can see that stuff also okay. and then onto my bread I'm just gonna put some of this chicken salad
And then I'm just going to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just cleaned up the area a little bit and put some stuff away. Um, I have this little container of, like, food picks and decorations. So I'm just going to use one of these to hold the sandwich together a little bit better. And then put that... I put a little bit too much filling. It's okay, though. Put that into my lunchbox. And then I'm just going to quickly wash my hands again. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just cleaned up some stuff here. And then now that the sandwich is done, I'm just going to use some silicone liners to put into these little sections. This part is completely optional. You don't have to do this. It just makes cleaning up the box a lot easier. You can also use paper liners, like cupcake liners, or whatever you want. And then just put them, like, in. And you don't have to do this at all. I'll be right back. That's my birth screaming. One second. Okay, sorry about that. So then just put the liners, you don't have to put liners at all if you don't want to, but I just like to because it makes it more colorful, prettier, and then it also makes cleaning up a lot easier. So then in these sections, I'm just going to put some stuff. I already washed these things. So in this section, I'm going to put some cherry tomatoes. I think I washed a few too many. Hopefully that's okay. And then I'm also going to put some grapes. It's just green and red grapes. I'll throw those over there. And then I'm also just going to cut up some strawberries. You don't have to cut up your fruit like I just like to, and it's easier to eat. I'm just weird in those ways. And I'm just going to put these over here. If you don't like your strawberries getting, like, how these have, like, some moisture, you can see, kind of. They just, it's just, like, the juice from them. And then, if you make your lunches the night before for, like, school and stuff, they tend to get a little more, like, wet, I guess. You can just put, like, a piece of napkin or paper or towel on top of it, and then it usually helps. It doesn't bother me too much, so I don't do it. And then, the last thing I'm going to put here is one of these juicy jellies. They're really good. And then, that's basically my lunch. I'm just going to add a few quick food kits, decorations. And they're not only for decorations. Like, these are, most of them have, like, little fork things at the bottom of them. So, it helps. It's much easier to eat with them. And they're cute, so why not? And then, I do sometimes, like, leave them up for the videos and pictures, but then I'm so sorry about that. I'm not sure where I left out, but I usually put these down and then close the lids so they fit better. So, here's my lunch. It's just for a quick picnic. It's fun, it's easy, why not, right? So, I have a chicken salad sandwich, some cherry tomatoes, strawberries, green and red grapes, and a juicy jelly. And then we'll also have water to drink with this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!